Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'm going to show you how to access your Google Drive account through Ubuntu using GNOME online accounts. So in order to get this set up, we're going to need to go into the terminal and type in sudo apt install or uh, no dash there, install gnome-online-accounts hit yes to continue the install and then once that's gone ahead and done, we're going to need this second uh, command to basically open it up. gnome-control-center-online-accounts. So just waiting for it to install there. And there we go. So gnome-control-center-online-accounts. Okay, cool. We have it open. So now we need to add in, predictably, a Google account which will require typing in your email and password. Okay, and I'll ask uh, Gnome would like to do all of these things with your email, so go ahead and hit allow if you're okay with it. Now we have mail, calendar, contacts, chat, documents, photos, files, and printers accessible here. Uh, I believe the only thing you really need is files, so if you want to turn the other ones off, that's perfectly fine. Up to you. And from there, we just need to go to Files. And then down below, you'll see your email address. And if you hover over it, it'll say Mountain Open, so you can double-click that, and it's going to access your Google Drive on the web. And you'll know it's loading because in the bottom right-hand corner, there'll be a little loading indicator. It may take a minute or two for it to load up. And if for some reason you get stuck there, just try clicking a, a different tab here and then clicking back on the loading option there. Okay, and just like that, it basically pulls up. And once it's gone ahead and loaded up, you should see your Google Drive uh, files there and you can start interacting with it by basically bringing files and pushing them over to here. So for instance, I can just go grab this C sharp file and paste it right into the Google Drive. And to confirm this, if you go ahead and check Google Drive on the web, you'll see that you have uploaded the file successfully to your drive. And that's exactly what we're looking for here. So I've been Chris. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you'd like, you can donate to the channel below and I'll see you in my future videos.